Alex here with Aving News. Thank you for joining us here. It's Kim S. 2025 and we got some amazing companies that we're talking to in the medical field and medical equipment imaging all these different categories we get to talk to some of the up-and-coming ones here too especially those from the inspire pavilion and that's who we're talking to right now uh so we've got over here our ceo chang ho correct right perfect. uh can you go ahead and introduce yourself and uh introduce yourself to the the people out there and biolink as well okay thank you first of all uh, thank you for inviting me, AV. And uh, I'm Jong Ho Hong, I'm CEO of the uh, BioLink. Uh, actually, BioLink is the AI driven uh, medical uh, mm -hmm. solution company, mm -hmm. uh, especially dedicated to the innovative solution uh, for um, predict predicting mm -hmm. uh, some special disease. Uh, mm -hmm. in the in, in, in serious disease, uh, especially stroke and uh, cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, now I want to talk about the uh, first solution uh, about the um, Eurocast. Mm -hmm. Euro, uh, no, 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 Lucacast. Lucacast, yes. Yeah, Lucacast. Luca means the lung cancer, stand for lung cancer, mm -hmm. and cast means the predict so uh, this solution can predict the lung cancer risk within the five years mm -hmm. while the, the patient uh, chest CT scan of feel uh, normal but mm -hmm. we can predict mm -hmm. so i think this product uh, can make uh, but unfortunately you know mm -hmm. Mm, lung cancer is one of the uh, deadliest uh, cancer in yeah. the uh, wide world, right? And it goes untreated because people, it's hard to find until late. Right, Especially right. with, it's not just smokers, anyone can get lung cancer. Exactly. And that's the problem, yeah. yeah. So maybe 43% uh, patient with lung cancer is already uh, at stage four. Wow. That means the terminal at the at the time of the diagnosis. Yes. So that, that is very sad news, right? Absolutely. So uh, the, this solution can be predicts very early stage. Mm -hmm. that, that is the big power mm -hmm. for my, my this solution. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe we, we want to, uh, we want hope uh, many people with lung cancer uh, can easily uh, detect the very early stage mm -hmm. for the lung cancer. Yeah. So that's uh, that's why we introduced uh, and showcasing uh, this lung can uh, the Luca cast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and and Luca cast is that your main product that you're displaying? Or do you have other products on display here as well? Oh yes, right. Uh, we have a server solution uh, for predict some disease or some uh, prognosis. Mm -hmm. For example, we have a stroke cast. So if patient have a, a severe stroke, mm -hmm. we want or a family want to know their or patient prognosis, right? Yeah. So it can be my, my product. Our product uh, stroke cast can be uh, predict uh, mm. their functional outcome mm. at three months after onset mm. and also one year after onset. Mm. And the other solution is in Eurocast. Mm -hmm. Eurocast is, is, is also about the stroke patient. If patient have a stroke, uh, acute ischemic stroke, it's maybe 25% uh, uh, of the ischemic stroke patient can suffer from the early injury deterioration. Mm. But your cast can predict uh, how percent mm. they can be, mm -hmm. right? Oh, great. Well, let's, let's talk a little bit about the uh, Korean market and, and kind of where you guys are at. In the Korean market, what are some of the challenges of the Korean market? Mm -hmm. uh, I think one of the biggest challenges in Korea is regulatory uh, regulation. Mm -hmm. And the other is the reimbursement policy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, uh, if Korean FDA approval uh, is very crucial, mm. so it made me 
very hard. Yeah, it's a yeah. very stressful time getting yeah, that yeah. approval sometimes, yeah. yeah. And the other concern is the re reimbursement mm -hmm. policy. Mm -hmm. So that can make uh, many uh, AI company uh, it's hard to mm. make some money. Yeah. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. Well, what about your? Co tell us a little bit about the background of your company. Uh, yeah, okay. How did you guys start? Did you all? Did you start with predicting lung cancer, or like, what? What made you guys start the company? Okay, that is a, a very important question, I think, because I'm a neurologist professor. So I'm working at the tertiary hospital in Korea. Uh, when I work uh, and take care of my patient, I feel the huge gap about the prediction. Mm -hmm. I know and totally uh, I agree with the exact diagnosis. That is a very important thing mm -hmm. in the clinical field, but right. prognosis is I cannot uh, solve it, uh, for my patient. Mm -hmm. They ask though, every day, every time, after discharge or uh, during the transfer, mm -hmm. they ask, but I cannot ask the exact the answer. Mm. So that's why I want to make up and fill up the, this huge gap. So yeah. that's why I make the, my company. And also, that's, that's the reason uh, my company has a link. So that's why BioLink. Very, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Well, appreciate the explanation on that. Uh, talk to me about your next future plans when it comes to the, the global market. Do you have any plans to expand or do you have anything in the works right now? Sure, sure. Uh, actually, now our cast product is our own the clinical trial in Korea for the uh, Korean FDA mm. approval. And also I'm preparing the uh, FDA uh, approval for U.S. market mm -hmm. because that, that is a huge market, right? Sure. So now I'm preparing all of these things and then next year I want to expand the global market. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, the EU, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well let's talk about how Kimes 2025 is helping with that and also the Inspire Pavilion, right? Mm -hmm. That's what you're a part of. Tell us what you're looking forward to this week. What are you hoping to get out of it? Mm. Kms 2025, and uh, especially uh, this pavilion, mm. Inspire Pavilion, um, make me, uh, that, that is very uh, powerful and excellent platform for connect the networking mm. and sharing my company's uh, and also inspiring mm -hmm. uh, my my thought. So that is the, I think that is good choice. Mm -hmm. I, I invited, I, I, I joined yeah. in this uh, KMS 2025. Uh, I hopefully, I, I hope to uh, uh, connect uh, more uh, another network and I want to see the, the uh, other uh, investor and other mm -hmm. company that uh, we can do uh, collaborate together. Yeah, yeah. Well, absolutely. And there's tons of people here from all over the world, not just Korea, obviously. Yeah, sure. Uh, so final question here, then. Let's talk about the future of BioLink. You know, what are some fields you're looking into, maybe beyond this, or is it more about expanding your product? What is your next steps? I should ask. Mm. As I mentioned before. Is that now I'm preparing the uh, improve, approval the FDA. That's why I want to go go to the uh, global market, especially uh, first the US, mm -hmm. and the uh, the next step is the uh, Europe. Mm. Uh, that is my uh, short term goal. Mm. But finally, I want to fill up the huge gap yeah. the, in in the uh, clinical uh, medical field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, certainly some noble goals, some noble lofty expectations. Uh, hopefully I get to see a lot of success out of your company and see you again, you know, at future exhibitions as well with more exciting news coming from you. Before we go, though, can you uh, give any words of congratulations? It is Kim has 2025, the 40th year here. Is there anything you'd like to say about that? Yeah. Uh, congratu uh, congratulations, uh, Kim has 2025. And See you next year. We'll see you next year. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. CEO of BioLink. Yeah, great. Thank, thank you. you.